رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه ذلك لمن خشى ربه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم when the call or the order was given to the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم to call to islam publicly came the quraysh they became severe enemies and they tried to affect the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and the believers and try them and torture them and persecute them but Khadija radiallahu anha was so patient. When they failed in everything, the persecution increased to an extent that the Muslims, due to the severe persecution, were forced to make hijrah to migrate to Abyssinia. And one of the people that had to migrate was the beloved of Khadija radiallahu anha, her heart and her soul. And who was this? Ruqayya radiallahu anha. She had to migrate to Abyssinia, leaving behind her family, leaving behind her mother. But Khadija radiallahu anha, with this trial and these tribulations, she remained patient. And when everything else fell, the Quraysh resorted to the last weapon, the weapon of sanction. They wrote a contract that they will never eat, drink, buy, sell from the Muslims, anyone who believed in Muhammad, for, three, for as long as possible. And they wrote this contract on the walls of the Kaaba. And the Muslims, they suffered during this period. This period lasted for three years. And they lived in isolation on the outskirts of Mecca, in poverty, with severe sanction. But Khadija radiallahu anha, that came from an affluent and rich background, was patient upon this sanction. She used to comfort the other women and tell them to be patient and show love and care for them. And more than that, she would spend for her own money, not fearing poverty, to support the Muslims at this time of sanction. After the Quraysh, after this, the Quraysh realized the resolve and the strength of Iman of the believers. And the resolve of the Quraysh after three years, it finished. And after three years, this sanction was over. After this sanction became over, people suffered from the effects of this severe sanction. And one of them was Khadija radiallahu anha. After these three years, radiallahu anha, she became extremely ill and extremely sick. That's how severe this sanction was. But she remained patient. And this illness, it was as though she was on her deathbed. And around her was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and her four daughters in tears, looking at their mother passing away due to the severe effects of this sanction. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he drew close to Khadija, realizing this could be her last moment. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to her, Ma amar al-firaq ya Khadija? What is more bitter? than this departing, Ya Khadija. What is more bitter than this departing? Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam drew close to her and he said to her, Sayakuna al-liqa fil jannah. Insha'Allah Ta'ala, our meeting again will be in paradise. It will be in the palace which Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has promised you, that palace which is made of pearls that lighten up. And the last word of Khadija radiallahu anha to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, Insha'Allah by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Upon this, our mother, the mother of the believers, the first mother of the believers, Khadija radiallahu anha, she passed away. She passed away and went to her Lord and became of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed his favor upon from the prophets, the martyrs, and the truthful one. And what is better accompanied than them? Radiallahu anha. And we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with her. And this Khadija radiallahu anha, she served to me, to you, to our mothers, to our sisters, to fathers, as a perfect example of what our mother's sister should be like, even as an example to men. Radiallahu ta'ala anha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.